you to move out of my way. It's not happening. You're going to stay out of my office where we have sensitive files. (laughs) What is your problem, man? You. Okay. And what are you doing? Hey, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? Good. I'm doing fantastic. Who are you? Who are you? I didn't say. I didn't either. You work for the public, right? No. No? No. Judge? I don't know who you are. If he tries to go in any of the doors that are closed, he gets locked up. Uh Uh-huh. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we are at the Village Hall here in Port Jefferson, New York, Suffolk County, Long Island. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public, promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that they respect our rights and treat us with respect and provide us with whatever services we might need. We are back here at the Village Hall in Port Jefferson because several sources have reached out to me with some credible information. The man you just saw, who says he does not work for the public, his name is Fred Lute. He indeed does work for the public. He was lying. He is actually the chief constable here for the Port Jefferson Village. And there is a lot of controversy with him and allegations of corruption. I want to make it clear. These are allegations. He is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. But the allegations are as follows. He worked for the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office and was selling guns on the street after marking them down as destroyed. One of those guns was used in a crime. He was forced to retire. And that's when he got his job here as the chief constable. So we're here to ask the tough questions. We want to speak to him, Fred Lute, chief constable. We want to speak to the city administrator, Joe. We want to speak to the village attorney, Richard Harris. We want to get to the bottom of it. We want to do an investigation, transparency and accountability. The people have the right to know. We're going to be filing FOIA requests for all pertinent information. Without further ado, let's get into it. Very unconstitutional uh, sign right here. Hey, Mr. Reyes. Hey, how are you? How, how are you guys you? doing today? Good. Good, good, good. Glad to hear how it. How you doing? Good. I'm doing pretty well. Good. Same old. Glad to hear it. Um, so I had a couple questions uh, for the mayor. Is the mayor available to speak? The mayor is not available. She's not available? No. Do you know when, if I could set up an appointment, who would I set up an appointment to speak with her? That would um, be through myself. Through you? And your name is? Barbara. Barbara. Nice to meet you, Barbara. Oh, uh, yeah, I would like to set up an appointment. Sure. Just give me your contact information. Sure. We'll be in touch with you. Great. Hey, um, Joe, can I ask you a quick question? Hi. Can I ask you a quick question? Uh, the quick question is just that, you, did you know that the um, Fred Lute, the chief of the constables here, code enforcement, did you know that he was uh, fired from the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, forced to retire, I should say, for selling weapons that he supposedly destroyed? I did not know that. You did not know that? Well, I'll, I'll be bringing that information though? Sure, I'll be bringing Yeah, sure. He's also let go from the uh, Three Village uh, uh, School District. Okay. So, um, again, just more corruption on his side. Uh, I'll, I'll get you all the details and information on it for great. sure. I'll send it over to your email. I've I seen the emails. You've been very respons- uh, responsive with people who have been emailing you, and they've been emailing me the uh, well, forwarding me. I try my best. They've been for That's great, great. A city administrator, it's your job, right? I'm the village administrator. Village the village administrator. administrator. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Right. Sorry. But yeah, just just I want to bring it to your attention that those I will be sending you documentation. Yes. He was also involved in a federal lawsuit for yeah. violating a woman's rights in yeah. Southampton, right. where the woman Thank was you. awarded 1.2 million dollars no. at the end that of the settlement. That's that's my my yep, that's my oh, okay. I just want to make sure. If you, I don't know if you did. Me, I'd be happy to look at it. Oh, okay. Great. Great. Okay. Are Thank you? Would you be Fred Lutz's boss? Or would that would just be the, directly the mayor? Uh, I'm actually in the middle of something here. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, you know, if you want to call or send an email. Sure, I'll send you an email. Thanks. Schedule. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time during the day. Um, you know, off the cuff like that. Absolutely. So you can take my card there. Okay, Barbara. And if you email me. Mm-hmm. Um, and tell me what you know what you would like to meet with the mayor about. Sure. Well, it's it's basically about this. I'll send in the email just send though. Me the email. Sure, we'll do, Barbara. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You're Mr. Welcome. Reyes. Take care.
Hi, Barbara. I just also had another request from you as the village clerk. I need the, I want to see the budget for the village of Port Jefferson. When you email me, you can foil whatever you need. I'm just on a conference call. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But why can't I apply for services here? You can, I'm just on a conference call. If you'd like to wait. Okay, yeah, I'll wait. No problem. I'll wait. I'll wait right outside here, Barbara. Take your time. How are you doing today, officer? Hey, boy. You didn't call, did you? No, sir, I did not. Okay. No, I did not. Right. No. Just handling some. Just, just so you know, they probably did call because of just me. Because you're recording. Just because I'm recording. That's but fine. I'm just here. I just yeah. want to let you know my intention, so that way you okay. know I'm not here just trying to cause a problem. Oh, you're I'm here to record. It's a public building. Sorry. Okay, great. So that, we're good. Can I just get your name and badge? Sure. It's Officer Scannon, Shield Seven Zero Two Zero. Thank you, Officer. Appreciate it. Well, let's just find out. I believe in there, Officer. To be honest with you, that's where the village okay. clerk is. Do you know? Uh, can anybody call in here? So this is the Suffolk County Police Department. Not the village constables, the code enforcement. Apparently, these people called the police. Actual law enforcement on me. Not sure why. As you guys heard, he said I have every right to record in a public building. How you doing? Good. Yeah, Fred. Yankees are playing good, huh? Yeah, Fred. Fred Lute also was taking signs down from the opposition. Okay, for send the... me all that information. Okay, great. All right. I just wanted to let you know. You got it. He was taking signs down from the uh, political opponents of the mayor, the chief code enforcement. I'm not even going to call them constables because that's just a word that they decided to put on themselves. But they're really code enforcement, like public safety. And um, as the chief of the constables. He was caught taking down Mayor Garrett right over here. Her political opponent, that he took down his signs from the lawns of people's houses, you know, public areas, public grounds. Doesn't sound like something Chief Fred Loot should be doing helping the mayor and her campaign by hurting the opposition. Sounds like corruption to me. What's up, buddy? Hey, how, how are you doing? doing? How are you doing today, sir? Yes, sir. Good, good, good. How's, do you, your, day? How's your day going? My day's going great. How's yours? Good, good. Hey, do you, hey, can you help me out with something? Sure. Um, do you know if I can talk to, if he's available, your chief, Fred Lute? Uh, there's a number that you can call. There's a number I can call? Yeah. His his office is upstairs. Yeah, I know. I tried knocking. I didn't think anybody was there. And just so I know, I spoke with your Brian seven one seven Bryant seven one seven. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's go. Hey, how are you, sir? Where's my partner? What's up? He went in here, officer. He went in where? He went in right over there. Thank you. No problem. Can I just get your name and badge? Yeah, Officer Ramos six nine eight zero. Ramos. Thank you, Ramos. No problem. Appreciate it. It appears that the city administrator here did not learn about public photography. Why else would he call Suffolk County Police Department on me? Very interesting. Hey Joe, why why did you call hey, why did you call the hey, police on me? How are you? How are you doing, bro? Joe, why'd you call the police on me? Did I call the police on you? Yeah, why do you, have, do you have confirmation and knowledge I called the police on you? I can get the I can get the phone call, sure. Okay. Would you like me so to get that? Get that, send that to me too. Oh, okay. All great. Right? great. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Can I get a copy of it? So what they're talking about in there, guys, I can hear it a little bit, is someone is complaining to the police officers and trying to press charges on me for something somebody else said, a threat that somebody made in my comment section. And the police officers are letting the person know that I'm not liable for anyone else's speech or threats. How could I be? How you doing, sir? How's everything going? You to leave. Would you be willing to leave? 
Um, so I'm not done conducting my business here. No. Okay. So, they close no. at four thirty. You're gonna be living at four thirty. I would. Why would I stay somewhere when it's closed? Okay. I'm asking. <laughs> no, right. I, I wouldn't stay at Walmart after they close either. <laughs> I, right. it, Just hang on, man. Yeah. So I heard Thanks. you say. I heard you say that. Uh, that that there was threats made. I don't. I don't know what. No what one you, said there was threats made. That something you said that I wouldn't be responsible for other things that people are saying. You didn't just say that right now. Well, that's something to do with the, like uh, comments on a YouTube post. Oh, right? okay. The people. That's nothing are, to do with yeah. you're saying right now. I just now. want to make it very yeah. clear that I'm not. I'm yeah, not yeah, for, yeah. This I'm has to do with just comments on YouTube and like how. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys can look them up and see who they are, right? Uh, what's your first name? Oh, you guys have all of my information already. Now. I don't have it off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Well, you guys do though. It's... I don't have it myself. Can I just get a? No, because I don't. I don't want you. I don't want you to. I don't want you putting me in any reports because I didn't do anything. I'm just here. Okay. Exercising my first member right. That's all. Here? Yeah. All right. Uh, you know when when you're gonna head out? I know they close at four thirty. Uh, after until until four thirty. After I'm done uh, conducting all my business, you guys really shouldn't have to stand be be here. I'm not a threat to anyone. No, you know I understand I mean? that, but you know they're just asking for us to hang out they until, feel more comfortable until they're until they're closed. Right. You know. Don't you think there would be a better the, use of resources for you guys? Yeah, than at the to, end of the day, we're just here to kind of you know make sure that everybody feels okay. If you're, okay. You know, so if you're gonna stay here, can I speak to a supervisor? Because I don't I, as a taxpayer of Suffolk County, yeah, I don't feel that this is wise. Uh, res use of resources okay, to watch fine, it. But yeah, if they, if they don't feel comfortable, you know, we're just trying to. We're just trying to... Yeah, okay. great. I, I'll like to be yeah, a supervisor. supervisor sure. Can... Right now, I'm waiting on the uh, village clerk to help me out with the Freedom of Information Act request. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you, you already started that with them? Uh, she told me she was on a conference call to give her some time. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Yep. Yeah, whatever comments that they're referring to on YouTube, I, you know that. You know that, officer. I don't have any. I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't control what people say. No, I mean, I, if anything, if anything, I actively condone, uh -huh. you know, condemn. Sorry, I condemn people who say things that you know. I'm about peaceful exercising my peacefully exercising my rights and having a dialogue with law enforcement. Right. Not. I don't want to threaten anybody or do anything no, of that we're, nature. We're just here because I guess you know some people are feeling uncomfortable about it, and at the end of the day, we're just here to make sure that everybody understands what they can and can't do. And okay, great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Do you have a pen, Barbara? Do you have a pen? Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Hmm. Don't really have a place I could fill this out at. I mean, there's a ta conference table in here, but I don't want to. Yeah, I guess I could. We're going to fill out this uh, Freedom of Information Act. A supervisor will be responding. Thank you, officer. Appreciate yeah, it. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be the next like 30 minutes, okay? Okay, great. Thank you. you mind if I ask what kind of FOIA request you're doing? Huh? you mind if I ask what, you, what, what kind of FOIA request you're doing? Yeah. No, no problem. It's public information. So yeah. basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting the code enforcement budget for 2020 and 2021, and then also I'm getting the... Uh, personnel file like how much he makes to the chief constable here because I have sources that put him as far as like he worked for the the Suffolk County Sheriff's Department before this mm -hmm. and then while he was working there he was in charge of the armaments and you know just you know the gun the buy the the buyback program for the guns okay. where you did where you destroy the guns so he was in charge of that and he was working there and a gun that he said that he signed off for as destroyed was used in a crime. So he was forced to retire, but none of this was brought to light. So that's what I'm doing now. See when you try to see if this is legit. I want to see what I want to see the information that you know what's going on because if if that's the case, why why is he working here? Why wasn't he charged? Why don't we know about it? I'm just all about for transparency and accountability. And people say, why do you go into public buildings and record? Because I got treated a certain way, and now I get to investigate these people on why they act the way they did. You guys have been nothing but professional since you got here. So that's how it's supposed to be. I'm mm -hmm. professional with you. You're professional with me. Yeah. You're here to protect and serve. I'm not causing any problems. So, you know, I just like to find out exactly what's going on with the people I'm dealing with and to, you know, for the people. Oh, that's you. all. Sounds yep. That's all, sir. News gets ours easily. I would think theirs would be public information. Like yeah, that. I thought like all like budgets and salaries and stuff like that was like readily available. But yeah, well, I mean, it. I mean, depending on a, a small village like this, 
they might not have it on their yeah, website or something. Try, try, so they might, you know, if it's a larger, exactly, like yeah, that, they'll, they'll have it right on the website. But I I, there's, I, there's certain wall. things that I want to really look into, you know, that he's been accused of yeah. taking political signs off from the opponent of the mayor that was reported in a news article, you know, assaulting a kid and, you know, getting away with it. Like, these are all things that I'm looking into that, you know, my videos bring awareness and these and people reach out to me and say, hey, I, I know this guy. I know what he did. Uh -huh. Look into this further. And that's how I just go about it. And that's all. Just a journalist. That's all. Just trying to figure out the truth and transparency for everybody. That's it. So, yeah. And that's the beauty about the Freedom of Information Act is that mm -hmm. I can request all those documents. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait till you guys get body cameras. I'm sure, you know, professionals. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, there you go. I know, right? Why, why well, wouldn't, why wouldn't you have one? Like, no, no and I can understand that. Black and white. You know, no, just... I can understand that. There's going to be people who you encounter that are going to make up things about you and try and uh, tarnish your character and your, you know, and your job. But if you have body cameras, they can't do that. So I'm, I'm, every officer that I've talked to that have been professional like you guys, they say the same thing. We can't wait to get them, right? We can't wait to get the Does body cameras. Does yours work? Just upload to the cloud or you have to physically put in a disc or something like that? Like a little, like, memory card? No, it is, it's always streaming to it's the cloud. cloud. Just in case. I've had, you know, police officers trying, not here in Suffolk County, you guys, you know, we've, I've dealt with you guys a lot being from here mm -hmm. and, um, you know, never had that problem where you guys try and take my phone or anything like mm -hmm. that. But I've had instances where they try and take my phone, you know, so that way anything happens, it's already uploaded. Also have a body camera, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just cover my bases. I just want you. to make sure everything's cool. That's, mag that's the magnetic mount, right? Yeah, magnetic mount, correct, yeah. Does it pop off anymore? No. No, no, no. Hold on, can you just... I just want to see. I don't, I'm not going to grab it, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, clips on and then it's a magnet there's on a the inside. There's a magnet on the inside, uh, exactly. See, I thought... Okay. I thought it clipped in and then the magnet was on the outside. Didn't know. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, it's not Hi, Barbara. So this is the uh, FOIA request that I'm be making to you. Just Did so you we're, sign it? Yeah, my seat's straight there. Okay. So just so we're, um, this is my company, Long Island Audit Inc. And then this would be um, my request, right? This You could send it to my email, longislandaudit at gmail.com. And um, I want the code enforcement, um, requesting the code enforcement budget for 20, 2020 and 2021, and as well as Chief Fred Lutz, Disciplinary record, um, employment file, and his salary. Okay? Okay, thank and you. And you can send it all to that email. Thanks, Barbara. Take care, Joe. Okay, Mr. Ryan. The reactions are so crazy. Like, it could be, you know, I don't know if it's just because you guys work for Suffolk County PD and, like, I'm already, like, already dealt with all that, but the reactions from different law enforcement agencies are insane. Like, it can be something like this where it's professional and courteous and uh -huh. everything's going well. And then there's other people who just want to escalate and, Where's the worst you know, had? Danbury. The whole city is weaponized against me, for sure. Danbury, Danbury Connecticut, for sure. That's it on is, the border it is, of New York, right? It is crazy. I was doing what I'm doing right now, getting a FOIA request, and I was arrested for trespassing and breaching, and breaching the peace. And in Connecticut, well, everywhere, a, trust, a criminal trespass, somebody has to order you to leave the building first, no matter where you are. You have to be ordered to leave. How can... If I'm in an area where yeah. it's open to the public and then I wasn't told to leave, how can you arrest me for trespassing? And then in Connecticut, a breach of the peace, which the Connecticut uh, Supreme Court just changed, is it has to come with an act or a threat of violence. Because okay. what was happening is too many people are getting arrested for disturbing the peace or creating a disturbance that really weren't doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. So they changed it to now it has to come with an act or a threat of violence. And I definitely didn't do that or I acted just how I'm acting now. So, mm -hmm. and. That's the worst place. The state's attorney, everybody is just... But I'll write a book about it one day. <laughs> <laughs> you, got right. of, you got a lot. lot yeah, I'll write, I'll write, I got a lot of stories, and I'll write a book about all of them one day. One day. What's going on? Good. Sean. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. Uh, can I get your name? Lieutenant Mignoni. Lieutenant. Hey, Lieutenant. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you just... I, I've been here before, and I've uh, been videotaping here, and I'm working on a story. I'm a journalist, and I just wanted to 
talk to you because they they were going to stay here as long as I'm here. And I just think that's a little unreasonable. Like I can't, I'm not saying that you're violating my rights or anything by having people, you know, having two officers here, but I'm just saying as far as I think that there could be better things that these officers can be doing than to sit and babysit me that I'm not, I'm not a, I'm sure you know who I am. I've, I've been all, I've been all throughout Suffolk County. I've talked to many lieutenants and captains and I, you guys know my name. No, I don't know your name. <laughs> no, but you, you, I'm, I'm telling you, you could just call anyone in your department and they'll tell you my name. It's not a big deal. It's just, okay. it's just I don't want to give it. But who, who called originally? Who was it? Who was the um, somebody in here? Yeah, they were calling based on they were calling okay, based on calling? threats. Uh, could you go get them, please? Sure. Uh, who's calling? Come on. All right, once you get them, you can, you can take over. Yeah. You so have, you have their information? Well, no, he spoke to me. Got it. All right, you, you you're taking papers here. I am. Okay. Just gonna handle yeah, as long as you get the information. Yeah, Lieutenant. So they were basically, I think they called because um, I post YouTube videos of my encounters with law enforcement and public officials to promote transparency and accountability. Okay. And um, I posted a video here. Did somebody tell you to leave? Did you go? No, no one, no one asked me to leave. They just immediately, as soon as I walked in, they immediately, I did a FOIA request for them. And, you know, they just immediately called the police and the police showed up here. And I just think that it's a waste of resources to have, I'm not a threat to anyone and okay. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. They were, I think their original complaint was that there was threats made against them on my YouTube video, like in the comments or something. And there were threats made against these people. I, I'm assuming that's what I heard through the door that there you was didn't make the threats, though. no, 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 no. It was like random people on the internet making threats, and obviously I'm not liable for that, and I condemn that in okay. every sense. So if anybody's watching this, if anybody's watching this, I condemn that. So I'm not for violence. I'm peacefully exercising my rights here. That's all. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you, Lieutenant. Thanks. Are they uh, just? Is there any areas that? That are not open to the public. You, you I mean obviously then you you know you, you can't. Yeah, no, well, I would never do that. I, if it's okay. not open to the public, then it's not open to the public. Okay. Yeah. Do you need anything else? No, no, no. Just I, I mainly wanted to talk to you because I just didn't want to. I just as a taxpayer of Suffolk County, we we pay a lot in taxes here, and I think that when people watch the video, what they'll say is, "Why are we wasting resources on a man that's a journalist that's peacefully well, when, filming?" You know, with, when the police get called, you have to respond. Police, but it's, and it's not always. What you you know what it seems to be or no for what sure people think it is, but then so. do it and I and I agree with doing like an investigation and sure. figuring out what's going on but then at the, you know go do something else more productive once you figure out there's nothing going on here and it's just oh yeah a, I don't plan on being here yeah anymore. exactly why would you why would you want to sit and babysit me all day right yep. same way I'm like you know I pay so much in property taxes and just taxes everywhere in New York I'm sure you guys do the same and yeah. you know I don't want to see two good police officers out here babysitting me. I want to see you guys out there, you know, doing more important work because mm -hmm. we need you out there. We need good police officers out there. So that's, that's my point. I got you. All right. Good. You got what you need? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good night. Thanks, Lieutenant. You have a great night. You too. Bye. I don't have my mask. I'm going to take it outside. Very positive experience today with the Suffolk County Police Department. They seem to be handling these type of situations, if you'll call it that, a citizen peacefully exercising their First Amendment rights. Alright guys, so we're just getting out of the Village Hall here in Port Jefferson, New York, Suffolk County, Long Island. Overall, the Suffolk County police officers did a good job. They did not violate my rights. They treated me with respect. You know, we had a good dialogue between us and that's why I wanted to highlight them in this video to show that it's not always fighting and, you know, violation of rights and being put in jail. Sometimes you can have a good dialogue with law enforcement so we can bridge that gap. I did think it was a little absurd that they were going to babysit me while I conducted my business because people felt uncomfortable. They are one of the highest paid police departments in the United States. And as a taxpayer of Suffolk County, I thought that was a grave misuse of resources. So we spoke to the lieutenant. The lieutenant agreed that it was a waste of resources. And he left with his two officers. So we appreciate that. As far as the public officials here in the Village Hall, we didn't get to talk to Richard Harris or Fred Lute, the chief constable, who we really wanted to talk with. But we spoke with City Administrator Joe, uh, Village Kirk Clerk Barbara, 
submitted our FOIA requests. You know, seems like they learned a lesson from last time. They treated me with respect. Only thing that I could say that they failed at was calling the police. They know I'm not a threat at this point. This is the second time that I've come here and yet they still called Suffolk County PD making complaints of threats that people have put in my comment section against the employees here. Again, I condemn that 100%. Don't be stupid. Don't threaten people in my comment section. It's not a good look for the movement. It's not a good look, you know, for the activism movement and supporting our rights. Let's be respectful. You guys know that I'm a big proponent of peacefully and respectfully exercising our rights. So let's cut that out. But, um, of course, they can't hold me liable for anything some random people on the internet say. So, you know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to be following up here. We didn't really get the answers we wanted. We couldn't speak to Fred Lute. And uh, couldn't speak to Richard Harris. See how he felt. But, um, as always, guys, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.